this this is a video just to show how you can uh, bypass your, your heater core this is a 4 f-150 uh, 4.2 six cylinder and um, if you have an issue with your heater core um, some people may be overheating and stuff and blah 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 this is a way that I did you don't have to do it this way but you can do it with CPVC um, I can bring it down more down and it looks even better um, I'm just testing everything but this is what you have to do this is the one going coming from from right there from that calls from where the where the thermostat is that's the one going out then the one that's coming to the block which is that one um, is the one that is returning from the heater core so you just put it around here I thought that's the easiest way and you can use this kind of CPVC don't don't use PVC uh, CPVC is the one for for heat um, and pressure um, so you have to use CPVC and the size is really cool I mean it just goes in and clamp I already tested it I didn't have no problem even over heat last night I was just testing it I didn't have no problem with that but this is what you have to do to bypass your heater core this is the two hoses coming from the cabin uh, the one on the left is the one going in the one on the right is the one going out to the block the one coming in comes from your um, thermostat. So that's it. You just cut those. That's it. Simple as that. Just cut it, cut it, bypass it right here. You can do it right there. That's no problem. Um, and you're done with it. You can cut. You can cut this off. You can buy sand CPVC, glue a cap, a half inch cap, put it right there, and you cap it. And if you want to reuse for the future. You can reuse that for the future. That's why I wanted to do like this. Um, I'm in Florida. Uh, I know it's different. If you don't know, you might gonna have to um, do something different. Um, I do love it. Um, I'm gonna have some other videos about some issues that I have and what I have to do. And uh, I'm gonna have it pretty soon. Um, and how to flush it, how to do my own pressure test with CPVC fittings and uh, and um, and some other things that I'm gonna use and I, I will post a video later.